Hi, in this video, we shall attempt a question on breaking a car using the kinematics equations we have just learned. So, a car is travelling at an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. I apply a braking force and it can come to a stop in 10 meters. If I apply the same braking force to a car travelling at an initial velocity of 30 meters per second, what will be the braking distance? So, first we write down all the information we have. The u1 is 10 meters per second, the braking distance s is 10 meters, and when it comes to a rest, we can conclude that v equals to 0 meters per second. And same braking force implies that there's the same acceleration. So we have v, we have u, we have s, now we are trying to find a. So we shall apply the equation v squared equals to 2u squared plus 2as, and we sub the values in, and we find that a is actually equals to negative 5 meters per second squared. So we shall apply this same a because it's the same braking force to the second car, and we get uh, we apply to the equation v squared equals to u squared plus 2as, and we get that s2 is actually 90 meters. So the braking distance for the second car will be 90 meters.